wondering if I should make an appointment at the doctor's. What for? Well, in case he wants to, you know. <laughs> well, maybe I should be prepared. Go on the pill. Well, the pill don't stop you from catching nasty diseases, you know. But I trust him. Oh, that's great, thanks. There's you, worrying about not getting pregnant, and then there's Bradley booking me in next Thursday like I'm some car going in for a service. Sorry? Well, he reckons that's when I'm going to be most fertile. It's like being married to Mr Spock. Romance, it's not logical. Oh, you're never going to believe this. That flaming cat as bold as brass sitting on the front doorstep like it owned the place. I'm going to have to get myself a shot, though. Wouldn't it be easier to just get some hay fever pills or something? Why should I fill myself up with drugs to protect myself against a cat I don't want and it doesn't even live here? Blimey, you look a picture. Oh, she's practising. She's going out with Callum tonight, isn't you? Ah, Vinnie Monks' lad. Lucky you. Well, I'll better be off. Yeah. Morning. 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 Brilliant. Trust me, you can have a great time. So where are you taking her? Somewhere flesh, I hope. Hello, Danielle. Um, St Pancras Station, apparently. You do what? Well, isn't there some sort of champagne bar there? Oh, yeah, but we're not going to bother with that. There are 27 trains in the Eurostar fleet. So far, I've only been able to photograph 23. Tonight, we put that right. <laughs> well, aren't they all exactly the same? It shows the level of ignorance from which you have yet to emerge. They may all look the same. Each one has its own personality. You can't be serious. The boy's mad. Well, somehow, people have this idea that train spotting is boring. Well, have you ever tried it? Hardly. So don't judge something you know nothing about. Right, you are going to love it. Open up a whole new world. Right, I'll pick you up at six o'clock sharp. That way we'll be there to meet the 1903 arrival from Brussels. Wrap up warm. I hope this is a wind-up. Pig, I ain't going to let him get away with this. Leave it to me. I know how to deal with these salt. Sort him out. <laughs> Make of him. One minute he's all over me, next he's ignoring me, then it's a date, and it's looking at trains. I'm starting to wish I'd never met him now. Look, if he's mucking you about, then it's probably best in the long run that you tell him to sling his hook. No need for that, it's all sorted. That train spotting thing was just a joke. He's taking you to R&R's. Flaming way. Come on, Ronnie, I'm getting it in the neck from Auntie Peg. But hell will freeze over before I do a photograph with our dad. You don't have to stand next to him. No. Or even talk to him. No. <sighs> Hello. Oh, great. No, 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 you can't help it. You let me know if you can be in tomorrow, yeah? Thank you. Neil's got a sore throat again. I wonder if Lindsay's free. Well, I'm not doing anything. What's the catch? No catch, I'm just offering. Come in, it'll be a laugh. <laughs> what, in your condition? Why not? I'm not doing any photographs. Oh, nothing to do with any photograph, all right? I'm just being kind. Come on, for old time's sake. 